And our Alistair Baverstock sat down with Ola Code's founder, Marcela Torres. And he started off by asking her why she designed the firm specifically for undocumented migrants returning to Mexico. How it came about is when we identified two different opportunities at the same time and we decided to sort of create a bridge between them. So on one hand is a high demand of software engineers in the country and it continues to rise. And on the other hand is the returned immigrants in Mexico that are facing a lot of difficulties to immerse themselves into Mexican, Mexican culture and accessing high demand jobs. So we saw that and we saw as a bridge of opportunity to create this type of um, way in which we could deliver a good set of skills to not just become software engineers, but also give them all of the soft skills that they require, not just for employment, but for them to incorporate themselves into Mexican society. I see migration as a positive thing, and that is sort of what we want to reflect and show through Ola Code, that migration is something very positive that we can benefit from, we can create from, we can innovate from, and the exchange of cultures and perspectives can have a, a really good result into a country, a society, and economies. So in your experience, what sort of challenges do these DACA dreamers face when they are deported back to Mexico? I think Mexico is having a big trouble in terms of understanding what a bicultural person is. They were born in Mexico, yes, but they grew up in the United States. And that happening gives them a very different perspective and personality and a very different way of being. But in Mexico, once they come back, the society expects them to be 100% Mexican. They're expected to speak a perfect Mexican Spanish, which is extremely hard if you grew up speaking only English. And if you have a little bit of an accent, that creates uh, distrust of reactions from the Mexican society. And even it has led into discrimination. What sort of unique skills are these returning migrants bringing back to Mexico? I have never seen more resilient and determined and hardworking people in my life. We see the returned migrants as enormous potential for this country. And we are wondering why isn't the rest of the country looking at them the same way we are. Because they're not only bilingual, they're also bicultural, but they were also raised in the United States and they have a very different education and that's something that we can all benefit from because they have a different perspective of the world, they have a different set of skills and they also, and if I'm allowed to say this, they sort of bought the American dream. So they think that if you work really hard, you can get somewhere. So they're even like working culture is extremely different from someone that grew up in Mexico, like myself, that I was told that you cannot do anything you want. You just have to sort of accept it. And what sort of results have you seen from your students? All of our students never coded before, and now they're developing full stack apps. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what coding is, and this is the brilliance of what we're doing, because there's a lot of people that can code. We just look for potential. And then we develop it. It is hard, yes, it's a five month program and it's from nine to nine from every Monday to Saturday. So it's very intense. But if we do find the right talent and we give them all of the set of skills that they need, they're gonna succeed. And they are succeeding. I think a lot of people can learn how to code and that's the beauty of the sector of technology because at the moment not a lot of people want to do it. Maybe they're afraid they can't do it or it's something they never thought they could do. It is a tough process because it's a short amount of time, but it can be done. So what is the current state of Mexico's tech industry? Mexico's tech industry is booming. It's starting to boom. I think we're a little bit late for it, but it is happening and it's growing. It's, it's fascinating to, to see it happen and I think one of the reasons why it wasn't growing so fast it was because there was not enough human capital to do it. And that means going from a Mexico that is a manufacturing country to a country that creates and develops software. So finally, what can we expect from the future of Ola Code? I think Ola Code is going to grow and I want it to grow and I want to create this big monster that not only finds potential talent 
and turning them into amazing software engineers, but we will also be able to produce technology very soon.